Breaker Breaker 1-9, this is Ernie Cash on the line. Let me tell you this story about a trucker I knew, a long run hauler and a good one too, and something started monkeying with that boy's mind. He was taking that stuff to keep him awake and got a hold of something that he couldn't shake. Now coffee, Jim, he don't know where he's at half the time. He never seemed to have any appetite. He just drank black coffee day and night. Of course, that's why they call that boy Coffee Jim. He'd find him a truck stop and get him one. Just before he got ready to run, he'd order up a bunch of them in paper cups to go. He had a real spooky look about his face and a name for taking loads to the wrong place. And nobody'd give old Coffee Jim anything to haul. But old Jim wasn't about to give that driving up. He just kept pulling that empty truck back and forth across the USA. Now he'd gear down low when he come to grade and pull on the scales and get his truck weighed and then he'd jump on that CB and talk to Smokey. Six months of this and Jim had nothing left, but one day he sort of come to himself. He woke up in a produce terminal out in old L.A. Well, them dock hands, they knew old Jim was broke, so they just asked him as a joke if he'd mind taking a load of dates to Hawaii. Old Jim nearly went right out of his mind. He said, I'll go anywhere, anytime, boys. Y'all load him up and Jim boy's gone. He found himself a little coffee stand. He took something or other in his hand. He wrenched her down with a swig of black coffee. Well, while Jim was gone, instead of loading dates, he loaded his truck with some empty crates. And when Jim got back, they'd already sealed the door. Well, old Jim standing there with coffee in hand says, look here, fellas, I'm a businessman. Now, how do I go about getting paid for this young load? They said, Jim, hell, it's all figured out for the sack. You'll get paid when you get back. So Jim led him a mall, Merle, and headed west. Well, them folks that saw him said he had no fear. He just sailed right off the end of that ocean pier and slowly disappeared beneath the foam. Well, you know, they sent two divers down for Jim, but they came back without him. Old Coffee Jim, boy, he must have made one hell of a jump. Well, two days went by and things were looking grim, but the telephone rang and it was Coffee Jim. And he said, hey, fellas, I'm calling y'all direct from Honolulu. You know, it rained like hell on me all the way, but I'll be back Friday to get my pay. And meantime, Y'all be thinking of something else for Coffee Jim to do, you hear?